Summit County, you're watching Summit Sunrise here on TV Summit. I'm Ashley. I'm with Jesse from the Breck Bucks, and we will be right back to talk about Breckenridge Bucks hockey. But first, we're going to check out our watch and win question today. Our prize is a five punch pass to Blue Lotus Yoga Studio in Breck. They're excellent. So, this is a great prize. Have your cell phones ready. Let's take a look at our question right now. How long are Christmas trees usually grown before being cut and sold? A, 20 years, B, 3 years, C, 15 years, D, 8 years. Call now if you know the answer, 970-262-6388, extension 16. If you have one in the last 30 days, you are ineligible to win today. We will uh, be right back with the answer, but first we're going to talk to Jesse. Um, hi, Jesse. How is it going? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm really excited about the snow um, a lot and of the holidays. Today. There's, there's a lot of snow today. There's a lot of snow today. day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the Breckenridge Bucks. Um, I think most people, hopefully, in Summit County know what they are now. I've seen um, your ads on buses. Um, I think that you have a pretty strong presence so far, but what do you guys do? Well, we're a junior hockey team. We're based out of Stephen C. West Ice Arena. Mm -hmm. um, our players are between the ages of 16 to 20, and the next step for our players is to get to college hockey. So okay. we're still amateur, they're still amateur hockey players. But our atmosphere is a pro-style atmosphere. We sell tickets to our games. We serve beer and wine at our games. And uh, it's an entertainment value for the community. And uh, anybody can come from, uh, from young kids to adults and uh, have some fun. Yeah, awesome. Um, and who are the players? I know that you guys have players um, who are coming to live just for the season um, and, uh, and just staying here maybe like through spring to play here specifically for this program. Yeah, our players come from all over the country, all over the world, actually. Cool. Um, we have some international players, but uh, most of the guys uh, come from kind of hockey-dominant markets, so uh, Michigan, Illinois. I'm from Minnesota, so definitely yeah, a hockey-dominant market. Some Minnesota players as well. Um, and uh, we do have some local guys, too. So uh, it's nice to have a junior hockey team uh, in this area. There's never been a junior hockey team here before, so it gives the local kids a chance to, uh, to try out and, and play for our team, and we do have a few of those. But uh, the kids that come from... Uh, from other parts of the country, they live in billet homes and housing family with housing families, and uh, yeah, they're here for the duration of the season, and they get to uh, you know try to compete to get to that next step, which is uh, either the next level of junior hockey or college hockey. Cool, um, and it's really fun um, to go to these games. How often do you guys play? Well, we play every weekend. Um, we play uh, 20 home games, 20 away games, so our schedule kind of uh, is a little bit different, but uh, we were just home last weekend, and we had a pretty good series. Uh, we won both nights. Awesome. Uh, our next set of games is uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day at home as well. Okay. But uh, our season runs uh, till the end of February, our regular season, and then our playoffs go through all of March, and then if we win the playoffs, we go to the national championship in April. Cool. So those yeah. playoff tickets should be really fun. Those games are yeah. always really fun, I feel like. Yep, for sure. It means something, for mm -hmm. sure. Right. So you have a brief hiatus um, for this Christmas holiday, so you're not playing this weekend. But New Year's Eve sounds like a lot of fun to go out and enjoy a game. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, Like I said, we're a source of entertainment for the community. Um, our game's a little bit earlier. Uh, I think it's at 6.30 that night. So you can come to the game, check it out, and still get uh, to where you need to be for New Year's for the ball drop. Cool. And who do you guys play? It's just Colorado teams, right? Yeah, our league, uh, Rocky Mountain Junior Hockey League is the name of our league. It's a okay. brand new league. Um, it's all Colorado based. You have uh, the mountain teams are us, Aspen, and Grand Junction. And then uh, the front range teams would be uh, in Monument, Colorado Springs, and Denver. Cool. Um, so a lot of Colorado teams, um, this is really supporting a good cause, these players who aspire um, to college hockey. So it's high caliber hockey. It's not. It's not necessarily like going to like a high school hockey game. It's a little bit more than that. Yeah, it's a little bit more than that. Um, the kids are here for a reason. They're all trying to get to that next level. They take it serious. We practice every day. We work out every day. We do yoga. Uh, we do all kinds of different things to keep the guys in shape, prevent injury, things like that. And then all our games on the weekend. So from you know on Monday we we focus on uh, you know the game that on that weekend, and we build and build and build through the week, and uh, we focus to be ready whether we're home or away, no, mat no matter who we're playing, and. Uh, we have scouts that call and, and show up and, and watch these kids. And uh, I've coached at the, a little bit higher levels, so I kind of know what it takes to uh, for those guys to get there. And that's that's how we coach those guys. And we've already moved a couple up, so awesome. we're happy about that. And uh, it's just been a lot of fun watching the kids grow and get better, and not just as hockey players, but as young men too. So it's uh, they give back to the community. We do a lot of community service work. They work with the youth hockey program, do some stuff with the schools and things like that. So it's fun to watch them kind of grow up just as an individual aside from the hockey part of it. 
Absolutely. Great. So they're supporting our community, and I think it's definitely um, a good thing for all of us as community members and even visitors here um, to go support Breckenridge Bucks hockey players. Absolutely. Where can they find out more information? Uh, right on our website, BreckenridgeBucks.com is the best spot to go. All our social media links are on there as well. Twitter, Facebook, we just launched a new uh, YouTube site. So cool. Yeah, we're happy about that. Got some videos on there. So uh, BreckenridgeBucks.com, best spot to go. Awesome. Well, Jesse, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you. Good luck in all of your upcoming games. All right. And happy holidays. Happy holidays as well. Thank you. Stay tuned for more Summit Sunrise, guys. We will be right back.